I really Good. want to um, uh, focus in our conversation today on uh, what the spirit is saying mm -hmm. to the church, mm -hmm. because we are in this new era where, yeah. you know, uh, sometime into yeah. 2021. And we have been hearing from a number of leaders that mm -hmm. God has been speaking to them about this time for a long time. Yes. And uh, I would like to know, has God showed you anything specific? Has the Holy Spirit showed you anything specific about the new era, mm -hmm. how to handle it, what to do, how to get their eyes and wings? What? Yeah. What should people be doing or saying? And also, um, yeah, so, so let, let me know that. Right. No, wonderful. I have a new, uh, I always go to the word. And, not, and I have dreams very regular. Ministry is called God Encounters Ministries. And so I am a person of encounters. I have been, I don't know, for 40 years, let's say at least. So, but I'm gonna so give you, you began having encounters as yes. a teenager? No, when I got, well, right around there, when I got filled with the Holy Spirit at 20 years old. So I have been prophesying for 48 years. And I, the first thing that happened wasn't speaking in tongues or prophesying, it was having visions. So I started having visions over 48 years ago. Then I prophesied. Then I spoke in tongues. And your beginnings reveal a lot about your calling and your destiny. So it was first visions, second prophecy, third tongues. But it was always about discerning of spirits. Hmm. And so discerning of spirits, as far as in the giftings, is actually my higher realm. Hmm. That is wow. my higher realm. So I started there as far as like a, it like unfolding when I was 20 years old. But as a child, I always knew things. I felt things. I knew things. And I just talked to God all the time and God talked to me. Well, wow. and That's then when you got converted, it the whole sense of knowing and feeling oh. massively increased into full blown yeah. visions. Were you awake? Yeah. Did you see it with your eyes? Hear it with your ears? What? Um, it was a snapshot pictures. It would like a milliseconds. It would go like that. And I was like, "What was this?" And my senses were already heightened, but they became magnified my hmm. knower, my seer, and uh, my uh, just all of it. And then the bubble up gushed forth. It all, it was almost volcanic for me, but I'm going to give you a verse. Okay. Here is the verse where I live now. It's Daniel 12, 3. And I believe this is a verse that I want to, I don't want to say it's reserved for these days, but I'm going to say it is absolutely amplified in these days. Daniel 12, 3. For this is a part of the new ways for the new era. Daniel 12, 3. Those who have insight will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven. And those who will lead the many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. There are those who are chosen and because of the way they cooperate. And they will grow in what? Insight. In divine insight. And they are what I call the hope solutionist. When the world has no answer. God is the answer, but God gives divine insight. That is where we are. We are at a part of the new ways in the new era is divine insight. He raises up those who gain insight into all, whether we call it the seven cultural spheres of society, where it's not limited you know, we know what, I know who I'm addressing right now, the global silo. 
and it's not limited to the the church religion mountain but we are equipped and it's into the seven spirits the seven spirits of god sent out into all the world and it's those who gain insight it says will shine brightly because they're set apart now to shine brightly we all know this but to shine brightly it's because the isaiah 60 backdrop of darkness mm -hmm. 